what's cooking bacon so we are here into another weekend and welcome back with me Raji at Kitchenorama now no weekend at least in my house is complete without a dessert right um, I'm Semeya Kheer is very popular in my house anytime we make it you know we have to scrape the bottom of the pan to make sure everyone gets the last scoop but um, I am not reinventing the wheel today. I am going to make the same amazing Semia Paisam or Semia Kheer, but it's more like I'm sending her to get a fruit facial so she looks even better. So um, there is a little bit of a fruity twist to our very traditional Semia Paisam or Semia Kheer. So go ahead and check it out and make sure you make some today for your family. I'm sure it's going to be finger licking. Take care and let's get cooking. To make this I am feeling peachy semi here, you need two medium peaches, take the seeds out and chop them into pieces and set them aside. You need one cup of roasted or plain vermicelli, I would recommend roasted, one and a half cup of granulated sugar, cashews raisins, small cup of diced almonds, half cup of dry coconut powder, now that is optional, four to five tablespoons of ghee or clarified butter. 24 ounces of 2% milk. Yep, you heard it right, not whole milk. Take a small pan on medium flame, add two tablespoons of ghee and add half of your chopped nuts. Roast them gently till they turn golden brown and set them aside. Take your chopped peaches, put them into a blender and you wanna turn them into a very fine puree. Now I keep my skin on peaches because it gives a good red color. Add two tablespoons of ghee to another pan Add the puree of the peaches and mix it well together. Add a half cup of granulated sugar. Mix it together, put a lid on top and let it cook for another five to seven minutes. Once you see the oil or the ghee separating from your puree, you're gonna add some cardamom powder. Cook it for another three to four minutes so it comes to a jam consistency. It shouldn't be too runny or too thick but a nice smooth jam consistency. Take 24 ounces of milk on low flame or medium flame and keep stirring it occasionally so the bottom doesn't burn. You can keep it on low flame if you know you're gonna be heading away from the gas. As the milk gets closer to boiling, add your sugar, add the vermicelli and the golden brown sauteed nuts along with the ghee and blend it all together. You gotta make sure you are mixing it all well. At this point, I would recommend keeping your flame on low flame so that your milk doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. Cook it to the point where your senia is nice and soft and cooked and is not too stiff. You can always take a few pieces and check. Take the container in which you're going to be serving your dessert. Put a layer of peach puree at the bottom. Up it with your cooked semia and garnish with your favorite nuts diced finely. Enjoy it with friends, family and if you've enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe.